Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Seth, this is Modestly Minimal, and welcome back to another video. You know that Mott and Bow is a staple on this channel. As much as I love a good, salvage, raw denim, sometimes I can't deny the fact that I just love a comfortable, stretchy pair of jeans with a tailor fit, whether that be straight, whether that be slim, or whether that even be skinny. Whatever your preference is, we're gonna be putting Mott and Bow jeans to the test today. They sent both my wife Megan here a pair of jeans. She actually has two pair, and I have a few that we're gonna put through the test as well. And our series of tests today are gonna to look like this. So, without further ado, let's try to break some jeans. So first up in the tug of war, we're gonna take the pants that we're holding, we're gonna test them first, and then we're each wearing a pair of Mott and Bow jeans we're gonna switch them and test those out second. I have the Oliver jeans, this is in a slim fit. These are the Wooster jeans in a slim fit, a dark wash and a light wash. I have the Bond jeans, these are high rise skinny. And then on me are the Jane jeans, another high rise skinny jean. Let's tug of war. One, <laughs> two, three, go. Nothing, nothing. A little bit of popping, but all the stitches are there. It looks like the stitching is actually pulling the denim. I don't know if you can see that. They're on there solid. That is a good sew. <laughs> nothing, no creaking, nothing, no stitches. These things are solid. I did not expect that whatsoever. I expected belt loops to rip off, there to be more seams actually like ripping from the denim, but none of that. So let's go to the next test. Test number two is a little bit like a science experiment. We have laid out two pair of jeans so far. We're gonna take these off, lay them there as well, and pick things out of our refrigerator that we think people would normally spill or drop on their pants. We're gonna purposefully try to stain them and then we're gonna wash them and see if the stains remain. This is one big aspect of jeans when you're paying this much. Hmm. Do the stains come out? What do you think we need? We're gonna do hot sauce, ranch, ketchup, and a Coke too. Next is the ranch. I hate ranch for anybody that wants to know. Oh, it's thick. Shake it out on there. Ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's so gross. Ugh, this is why we don't eat ranch. I love ranch. That's oh. 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 Gross. Get a little more on those. <laughs> it doesn't oh, want to come on. There you go. Ah. Last. And last, Coke Zero. Oh, that's a nice liquid giant. Liquid gold. Oh, fizzy. Oh, that's soaked in immediately. Look at that. Oh, that's a good pour. And now... All right, we're gonna let these set for about 30 minutes. We're gonna put a 30 minute timer on before we take them down and wash them to really let those stains get set in there. So, 30 minute timer, now.
And now for the conclusion of our science experiment. So tomorrow we are gonna put these on and film the rest of this video because it took all day washing and drying. We're at a campground, we have to share things, so you have to wait, it's nighttime out. We never dry these, we always hang dry. So tomorrow's test and the rest of this video, you're gonna see if they fit after drying them, if they don't shrink. I'm hoping they won't, because I've never dried any of these. Always hang dry. But let's look at the stains on these first. None? Nothing there. I think they're pretty good. I don't think the black ones are going to have anything on them. Any stains at all. None? None. Nope. All good. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. I thought at least the dark ones something would stain. All right, now mine. These are the Wooster. None. Look at that. Pretty good. Pretty impressive. Now, the light colored jeans. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> These did get a stain. As you can see right in here, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a stain there. I don't remember what was there though, so I'm going to put it on the screen right here. But any light colored jeans that you drop something on, especially something with an oil base or really, really heavy colors, you're going to get a stain. These aren't <laughs> bad enough, though, that I wouldn't still wear them. I'm still going to wear them. Yeah. But just know that. Testing the comfort of the jeans is by far the most important part to me because I don't care what your favorite Instagram or TikTok influencer tells you. Just because jeans are expensive and just because jeans are heavy in ounces, to me, doesn't make them good. If I can't sit down on a Sunday afternoon and watch a Formula One race in my jeans and sit here in my seat any way that I want, don't look at that, then I don't want them. I don't care how cool they are. I don't want them. I've worn these jeans for so many races and they are so comfortable. That's all I want. And these achieve that. If anybody knows me, I hate when pants, jeans in particular, are tight around my waist. I will be that person that will unbutton them when I sit down in the car, wherever, because if it's uncomfortable, I don't like it. And these jeans, like I can sit here and they are buttoned which is a huge win for me, means they're comfortable, means they fit well, and makes them a good pair of jeans. Last but not least, we have the fashion show. This is so dumb. I'm excited. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these jeans and we're going to pair them different ways. So whether you're wearing them for a casual event, whether you're wearing them for a more formal type date evening maybe, or wearing them out on a hike like we recently did in Leavenworth, Washington, we're just going to show you very, very quickly a ton of different ways that you can style these jeans for both men and women. Okay, final thoughts? My final thoughts are I've had a lot of jeans, a lot of different companies, brands, and these ones are by far the most comfortable. And that's coming from somebody who is very picky about their clothes. Comfortable, stylish, multiple colors, highly recommend. There you have it. You heard it here first. So for me, these jeans match the three categories or check off the three categories that I think are required for any item. They're comfortable, they're durable, and they're versatile. Fashion. 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 Fashion.
Station saves.